so uh, welcome to Flair Pilates, of course. This class is going to use the magic circle, but if you don't have one of those, just grab a cushion or a towel or something you can squeeze, um, you can roll up. Anything like that should be fine. Okay, so let's place the feet right underneath our body, standing um, with your feet in parallel, nice and open across your chest. Just let the arms hang heavy. We want to make sure you've got a bit of space and a small squeeze between the shoulder blades, gently drawing your belly button in towards your spine and a light lift of the pelvic floor. Okay, let's get moving. Big breath in. And on your exhale breath, we're going to roll down. So starting from the top of the spine, we're bending the knees, scooping through the abdominals, and you're rolling each vertebra down, bone by bone, until we hit the floor with our fingertips. Nice big breath in here. And then exhale, tummy to spine. Rolling up, bone by bone all the way to the top breath in here and we do that two more times trying to bookmark how this feels remember this feeling and where you feel all the things because at the end we're going to redo these three roll downs and you will see how far you've come hopefully feeling just that little bit different breath in at the top and rolling down let the arms hang heavy Rolling down, nice big breath in at the floor and exhale, rolling up bone by bone. Nice big breath in and rolling down. This is the last one. I'm just trying to set my watch up here so I'm multitasking while I'm doing this. Breath in at the floor and then rolling up. Once we're up, we're going to take those arms out to the side. We want to keep the shoulders down and we want to keep the pelvis exactly where it is. And we're just going to tilt the top half of the spine. So breathing in as we side bend. Exhale, we'll come up through center. Inhale over to the other side. And exhale, up through center. Same again. And hopefully you'll start to feel your body loosen up a bit. Side bends always feel a bit tight for the first few. And then once you've done four or five, you start feeling a lot better. And maybe if you're feeling good with each one, you can reach just that little bit further with each tilt. And we'll do one more time to each side. So let's make it a really nice, good stretch here. So we'll spend just an extra second or so, keep those shoulders down, reaching towards the end of your mat, not down by your foot, to the end of the mat there. So we really make the most of that stretch. Up we come, same to the other side, reaching towards the end of your mat so we can create the space here. Reach, 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 reach. And then we use the strength in our obliques to pull ourselves back up, turn the palms to face the ceiling, bend the knees. We want to anchor the body from the waist down and we're going for some nice twists. Double twist, back through center. Double twist. And back through center. Double twist. Keeping the pelvis nice and square, everything stable from the waist down, of course. Shoulders down. Okay, we're going to do one more each side. And then we'll come back through centre, take those arms down, give the shoulders a bit of a roll. So we're going to get started with um, the circle straight away. For this exercise, you don't really need a circle. You could just use your hands or something else to hold. It's totally fine. We're going to turn to the side and we're just going to take um, one foot behind us there. So just resting the big toe on the mat. So we're going to take the circle straight out in front and the circle is going to stay more or less still. So your arms will stay still, but the body's going to tilt and we're going to lift that back leg. So let's grab the body first. This is first and foremost a balance exercise. So Lift that pelvic floor, draw the tummy muscles in, draw your ribs together so we can be as supported as possible. And we're going to start with the foot. So you're just going to press that leg up 
and naturally our body is going to tilt forward. So I'm not going to look through the middle of the ring, I'm going to look towards the top of my mat, but you can see that my ring has mostly stayed stable and then we're going to come all the way back up to where we started, being careful to square off those hips. So lots of work, lots of muscles in the feet, in the foot working here for stability. See if we can press that leg up to roughly 90 degrees or in line with the spine. Good, lots of work for that standing glute to control the balance. Reaching that back leg up. Doesn't matter what your foot is doing, flex or point, I'm not emotional about that. Pull that tummy muscle, pull the tummy muscles in. Nice and slow, painfully slow, so we can really concentrate on staying stable and what the rest of our body is doing. Pressing up, if you don't have anything to hold, just clasp your hands together in a prayer or a pistol or something like that. And up we come. Ooh, got the wobbles, and here we are. This time we're gonna take the circle above our head. Set those shoulders down, start with the leg, and then naturally it will start to tip our body forward. So four of these, we've done four of the other one, and we'll do four of these. So it's lots for our standing leg to handle. Woohoo! I can already feel the muscles around my shin, in my feet, in my glute. Nice and slow, up we come. Ooh, the wobbles, and we'll do two more times, resetting in between each one. Up we come, I think we've got one more to do. Last one. And all the way up, placing that foot down on the mat, giving the shoulders a roll and giving that standing leg a little bit of a shake. I'm going to spin around to face the other way, but you can do as you please. We're set up for the other side. so. We're going to place that foot behind us. We're just taking the circle straight out in front. Set the shoulders down and reset the body, joining the top of the pelvis to the bottom of the rib cage. So nice and strong through the midsection. Okay, we start to lift our leg and over we go. Nice and slow, nice and strong, nice and stable. Woo, I say all those things and then I get the wobbles. Up we come, good. We've got three more to do. Over we go, and up we come. Halfway through the first set. <laughs> Concentrating on everything we're doing, just noticing everything you feel, all the little wobbles, all the muscles. Perhaps it, it hurts a little somewhere, but hopefully not a uh, sharp, stabbing, ripping, horrible pain. Hopefully it's a nice, warm, good pain. Okay, four, we're done taking our arms above our heads. Reset the body here, reset the midsection, and off we go. Starting with the leg, use your hamstring, your glute to press it up. Roughly 90 degrees. Not to worry if we can't keep your standing leg straight. Does not matter if it bends. But when it is bent, make sure the knee is going over the top of your toes not in towards the other leg. Up there. Over. And up. Ooh, I'll make the last one the strongest one. Over we go. And up we come, placing that foot down on the mat. Give the shoulders a bit of a roll, the leg a shake, and we've earned the right to come down to the mat. So you can either be on your knees like so, or up on your knees like this. It, this is actually what I'm going to do, but feel free to adjust it for your, um, for your own body. So we're going to take the elbows out to the side. The knees are not together, they're a little bit wider. Please kneel on a pillow or a towel or something if that um, works for you. Elbows out to the side. Let's draw the tummy in, lift the pelvic floor, all that, that good gooey stuff. And you're just going to squeeze on that circle. And then we'll breathe in to release. On the exhale, you're going to squeeze on that circle. Breathe in to release. Nice work. Squeeze. 
and release. So if you were sitting down on your knees like this, you'd do the same. You can do it standing even. You can do it sitting. And this is just to kind of get us going with the circle or your object. We're going to do, uh, we're going to go back to arms shortly. All right, so that's that exercise. We're going to place the circle on your hip, somewhere like that. And make sure you've got the pressure going through the heel of your hand. So you're bringing the circle squished in like that. Other hand can just be on your hip. So this is not a long arm session, just something to take the focus off the bottom half of the body because you see we've just done a whole lot of standing stuff. Just the last one here. And then other side. Hands on your hips. Oop, a little bit lower. And squish on your exhale. Release to um, breathe in to, in, uh, to release. Again, keeping the collarbones nice and wide and a little bit of a squeeze between those shoulder blades. That really helps set the shoulders in the right spot. You want to be tucking your tailbones under, your sit bones towards each other. Just to protect that lower back. Last one. Nice. All right, swap the circle now so that it's on top of the shoulder. Elbows out to the side. One for the biceps. The rest of the body is just as we set it. And just three more times. Three. And two. And one, good, swapping the circle over to the other shoulder, reset, and off we go. So now hopefully this has helped you to forget about your legs <laughs> after that standing series. And then we're going to lie down in just a second, three, two, and your last one. Hurrah! Okay, let's come down to our, um, onto our backs, but we're, um, oh no, let's just go straight down. We'll worry about roll-ups later. And taking the circle or your ball or your towel or anything, your cushion straight up to the roof. So a little bit of shoulder mobility to start with on the inhale. You're going to take the circle back and the exhale, we're gonna bring it forward. So it's really easy, no squeezing at all, just thinking about the mobility in those shoulders. So if you're doing this correctly, as you take your arms back, we don't want the upper back to lift up off the floor. We wanna keep the back of the rib cage engaged with the mat the whole time. So perhaps if you have sticky shoulders, you actually might only get to there, and then you don't worry about it any further because then to get further, you would have to do this. So let's just work to your own mobility, your own ability and certainly moving into the next one um, you, you can adjust it as you need to so this time when the arms come forward we're going to lift the head and chest and we're going to add a little small circle squeeze inhale we release back down to the mat so exhale you're going to lift and squeeze the circle and inhale release back down to the mat exhale lift squeeze and inhale down so each time we lift the head and chest let's actively pull the tummy muscles down towards the spine squeeze 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 and everything from the waist down to the pelvis stays nice and still good in just a sec we're going to support our head but we'll go three more times three keep the shoulders back even as we lift the head and chest Two. Last one. 
and one. Good, let's stay lifted and just hook the circle behind your head. So if you've got another prop, just ditch it for the moment and just hold the back of your head with your hands. We'll continue with this exercise, just supporting the head. No need to squeeze the circle anymore unless you desperately want to. Lift. Nice. And we're going to add the lower half of the body in on the next one. So using the right leg, you're going to bring your right knee in towards your nose. Tap the toe on the way down. Same leg, right leg. Bring it in. And lower down. So keep the shoulders back. We're supporting the head with the hands or the circle. But you're not yanking on your neck, okay? Just keep it supported. It's taking the pressure off our neck. If you have your hands behind your head, just have the elbows out to the side. And we'll go three, and two, last one, keeping that pelvis nice and stable, actively drawing the tummy muscles down. We're going to go with the same leg and we're going to add a little bit of a twist to the mix. So opposite elbow, left elbow to right knee, back through center, but let's not go all the way down. Twist, back through center, but not all the way down to the mat. Stay lifted. So really starting to feel that midsection doing a few things. Back to center, tap the toe, and twist. Back to center, tap the toe, twist. Nice. Just really try not to dome those abdominals too much. Always a challenge, isn't it? Trying to pull the tummy muscles down. Oh, last one. Remember, we've got to go to the other side, but we're going to have a break. So we go all the way down to the mat. Enjoy a couple of seconds break here. Oh, all right, so we're going to go with the left leg and um, moving into the twist. So chest lift, bringing the left knee in. Tap the toe all the way down to the mat. Lift and lower. Like you're wearing a corset, everything is drawing towards the midline of your body, everything's drawing down towards the mat. Joining the top of the pelvis with the bottom of the rib cage is a good way to think of these chest lifts. We're not trying to lift your chin up to the roof or anything like that. And exhale, lift and in. And inhale down. So we've got about three more of these to go before we move into the twists. Okay, one more and then we're into the twists. So we stay lifted. All right, the next one. Off we go. Twist opposite to elbow to knee to, right to left knee. We come back through center, but we stay lifted and we twist. Stay lifted. Woo. Again, trying to just create that twist through your waistline as we can. There's a lot going on here. Really nice and warm through those abdominals. How are we all going? Hope you're coping. Three times. Three in the back. And Last one, back to the floor, release down, just pop the circle down to the side for now and shuffle the feet to the outside edge of your mat. You can do a few windscreen wipers with the legs if you want to, just to loosen your bodies up and then we'll come back to centre. Okay, reset those shoulders down into the mat. Neutral pelvis, hands by our side. Let's just move the spine. So we'll do some pelvic tilts, nice and big. Flattening out all of your vertebra along the mat and then rolling towards that tailbone, getting as much movement through the lower back, through those lower vertebra as possible. Allowing the chin, the neck just to be relaxed, but to nod back and forth as you do these. 
All right, on the next one, we'll continue all the way up into a bridge. So we're going from this little um, lumbar extension and then we're going to roll all the way up, pressing your feet down evenly into the mat, squeezing your glutes at the top, nice big breath in, and then rolling down all the way back to neutral. Nice. Up we go again, peeling the spine up, pressing both feet down, squeezing your glutes, rolling down. These always feel nice after chest lifts. Get that spine moving. Nice and smooth. Think about and visualize each vertebra moving one at a time. You can even feel it like a lifting a bike chain up off a table one link at a time, lowering it down one link at a time, all the way back to neutral. Up we go again, one bone, bone by bone, all the way up, squeeze those glutes, tuck the butt right under and then rolling down, reaching for that circle if you've got it, otherwise take your arms straight up into the air, keep the shoulders down, the wrists are on top of the sh shoulder joints, up we come to the top, holding here, we're just going to softly bend the elbows and then squeezing the circle. If you're not squeezing anything, don't worry too much. Just holding your bridge. And exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. We're doing maybe five more. Four. Three. Two. And holding a small squeeze here as we roll down. So with the squeeze, it's easy to forget about our vertebra. So concentrating on the vertebra while holding the squeeze all the way back to neutral and then finally releasing the squeeze. Okay, let's roll up. As you roll up, you can start to squeeze a circle all the way to the top, holding the bridge and a few more circle squeezes here. Nice and strong with the glutes. Soft bend in the elbows. Five, four, three, two, and one, hold the squeeze. Now really think about the articulation of your spine as you roll down. Keeping hold of the squeeze and release the pelvis, release the squeeze. We'll do that one more time. So start to squeeze the circle, sink the tummy, breathe out as you roll up. Nice big breath in at the top, squeeze those glutes and then you can start squeezing the circle and release, squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. Okay, four, three, two, and one. Hold the squeeze, rolling down bone by bone. Scoop those abdominals all the way back to neutral, finally releasing the squeeze. Okay, nice work there, everyone. You're gonna place your feet either both in the circle. If you don't have a circle, you know, you can just hold the backs of your legs. So just figuring it out as you go along. You can also use a towel for this one. So we're going to be pulling on the circle and stretching it a bit to give ourselves a little bit of help. So it's very much about our abdominals and our hip flexor strength. So set those shoulders down. Remember not to punish yourself if you don't get it the first time. So we're going to nod our chin to chest and we're just going to have a little practice of rocking forward. So we're not going to go all the way up, just to there and we'll roll back down to the mat. Good, let's have another go, rolling and maybe a bit further this time and back down to the mat. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit of a balance going. So press your feet down towards the mat, try and find that balance point and we're going to straighten up the spine and see where we finish up. If you end up with your feet on the floor, who cares? Just get back into it. So then we start to tuck our pelvis under, keep the shoulders back as we roll with control down to the mat. So we're not really using any momentum here. It's all control through our abs. Nodding chin to chest. The circle is our friend. It helps us in this one. It's not for evil. It is for help. Sitting up nice and tall, nice long back. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. It helps get the shoulders back. And with control, we release down to 
the mat. If you have a sore tailbone or a sore lower back, perhaps this exercise isn't for you. So go back to one of the other abdominal exercises that we've already done, or just have a little quick break. We won't be here for too long. We want to extend the spine, shoulders back, and rolling down. Nice one. Okay, last one. We come. We're going to hold for a little bit longer this time. Extending the spine. Nice. Holding here. Stretch the circle, squeeze between those shoulder blades, lifting your chest up towards the roof. Holding for three, two, and one. Rolling down all the way to the mat. Nice. Seeing as we have our legs sticking up into the air, let's continue to work like that. So I'm going to place the circle in between the ankles. You can hold on to the backs of your knees and we'll just lower the legs into a tabletop position here. So I'm just holding on to the legs until we're ready to go. We've got the pelvis not in a neutral position. You're actively pressing that lower back into the mat to support the, the lower spine there. And we're going to take the hands behind the head to support the neck now. So we're unsupported with the legs. All right, so exhale, lift the head and chest, and as you do that, you're going to squeeze on that circle, and then on the inhale, we release down. So you've got the towel, the pillow in between your knees or your ankles here, lifting up, squeeze that circle, and release down. The reason I have the circle in between my ankles, it's a little bit harder to control. It wobbles around a little bit more, so it requires a little bit more concentration. Painfully slow with these chest lifts. Thinking about our good technique, we're trying to not dome our abdominals up to the roof. Lift and squeeze. And lower down. We're going to do four more times. Four. Our last one coming up. One. Good. Grab onto your knees. Give yourself a little bit of a cuddle. Just leave the circle where it is for the minute. All right. A little bit harder now. We're going to take the legs straight up to the roof. Hold onto the back of your legs. So we've got a little bit of a squeeze going on in that circle. We're not going to spend too long here. You're going to take your arms out to the side. A little squeeze, and you're going to roll or rock your legs. Just a little bit to one side, back through center and to the other side. So if the knees are not straight, doesn't matter, it looks a bit like this. It's the same idea. You've got your arms for support. If it's too much, bend your knees even more. You can do this in tabletop. Inhale over, exhale back through center. Inhale over, exhale, back through center. One more time. And then we'll come back through center. You're going to bend the knees, find the floor. Thank goodness. Place the circle in between those thighs. I usually angle it down towards my feet. That seems to be the best way for it to be stuck there. We want the feet in line with your sit bones. Or your hip joints, definitely not wide like the mat. You just won't get the same kind of um, effect on those inner thighs. You definitely need to have your feet narrower than your knees. Hands by your side. So we're going to keep everything on the floor except uh, uh, everything on the floor for this one. And then I may change my mind in a minute or so. <laughs> okay, so sinking the tummy muscles, lift that pelvic floor, wrapping that imaginary corset around your middle Shoulders are back. On the exhale, you're going to give the circle as strong a squeeze as you can manage. And then breathing in to release. Exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Bend that circle completely out of shape. If you can touch the handles, go for it. And the rest of the body stays nice and stable and still and supportive. But we are 
feeling the bulk of the effort in our inner thighs. Exhale, give it a squeeze. Inhale, we open it right up. Squeeze, open it right up, nice. And we'll do four, three, two, and we're going to hold this one halfway. And from here, you're just going to do tiny little pulses. And they can be quick, they can be slow, but you're moving the circle like this much. Tiny little pulses, keep the shoulders relaxed, make sure the pelvis hasn't changed position really feeling like your inner thighs are on fire. Woo. Four, three, two, one, and release all the way open. Nice, I think we've done enough for our abdominals, so I'm not gonna add any chest lifts, but I am going to add some bridges. So we'll leave the, um, let's engage the, the squeeze just a little bit, like a one out of a 10, and then you're just gonna press your hips straight up off the floor. We're lifting all the way up into a bridge. Nice, we'll come down halfway. And then as you press all the way up, you're going to squeeze that circle nice and hard. So we come halfway down, we release all the way to about a 1 out of a 10. And then we press all the way up, squeezing as hard as you can. Halfway down, so we open all the way up to squeeze. Halfway down to open all the way up to squeeze. Inhale, we release. Exhale, up we go. And hopefully feeling your inner thighs. Three, two, and last one. And all the way down, soft landing. Grab that circle, join the soles of your feet together and just let your knees fall open. If your inner thighs are on fire and <laughs> you don't appreciate this stretch, just take the feet to the outside edge of the mat and let your knees fall together and that will switch off your inner thighs almost completely. So that's a nice way to just calm down after that. But if you're able to, if your adductors say, yeah, that's fine, then let's just hang out and butterfly for a hot second. And then we're gonna roll over onto our side. And I'm going to take the circle straight out in front. So I'm actually gonna come up onto my elbow here, but feel free to lie flat if you like. We're just adding a little bit of extra shoulder stability. I'm gonna take the circle straight out in front and my top leg is nice and long here. So you need to be pushing through the heel of your hands, not your fingertips. And what we wanna do is keep the pelvis stable. This is going to be about our glutes. Let's hover our leg off the floor here. As you lift the leg, you're gonna press down onto the circle and inhale release down. So it's very tempting to turn that top hip out, but let's try and keep it perfect parallel and we can really lock into that glute med, right into the glute muscle, lift and lower, good. The focus is not the circle here, it's our glute obviously, just giving our other arms something to do. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, trying to keep our hip in perfect parallel. Lower, good. We worked our glutes at the top of the class. There's a lot of standing balance stuff. This feels a little bit different. Ooh, okay, still hard. Four, three. Good news is we can't spend too long here because we're gonna run out of time. Two and one, but we've got time for a few pulses. Pulses on the circle and pulses with the leg. Make sure this supporting shoulder hasn't crept up towards our ear. Push your elbow into the mat. Let's stay nice and lifted underneath your waist here, under your ribs. Four, three, two, one, and down we go. All right, we're going to set up for the other side for our glutes. So, I told you we didn't have too much time. It wasn't going to be a massive series. All right, so let's set the circle out in front. Our supporting shoulder is nice and strong. Your uh, top elbow 
is just very, very slightly bent, so we don't want to have her extended joints there. All right, let's hover the leg, draw the tummy in, lift under the waist. As you press down into the circle, we're going to lift the leg. We want to keep this top leg in parallel if we can. Got a few more things I want to get through this class today. So, short glute series because we already did some. Nice, stay supported through that shoulder. Keep it down away from your ears. We'll do about three more times here, nice and strong. Three, two, and one. We can do those pulses. They don't have to be fast. It'll just be faster than what we were just doing. And the range is, of course, smaller. Okay, nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Great. So we're going to get our back extension out of the way right now. So let's roll onto our tummy. We're going to use the circle if you want to. Um, and if you don't, just ditch it because it's not certainly not the focus of the exercise. So if you're not using the circle, you're just going to place your hands on the floor like so. And we're going to start with a small back extension right from the start. So our back is activated. Set the shoulder blades down. Press the pubic bone into the mat. The legs are together so we can work on those inner thighs and, and also our glutes. Okay, so we're just going to leave the circle as it is and you're going to lift your upper back just a little bit but looking down at the mat. And on the inhale, down to the uh, sorry, exhale down to the mat. So inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, we lift. Drawing your shoulder blades down towards your back pockets, especially on the way up. Lift, keeping the back of the neck nice and long. And lower. If you're not using the circle, it looks a bit like this. Your hands will slide as you lift. Now, only if you want to, at the same time. Breathing in to do that and exhale down. Breathing in to lift and exhale down. Back of the neck stays nice and long. So inhale to lift four, exhale Three, two, and one. Good. Place a circle on the floor, hands down right underneath your shoulders. You've got your wings drawing towards each other and the back of the neck is nice and long. Reset that lower back, press that pubic bone into the, into the floor. So using the muscles in your back first, we're lifting the upper back. Then we can't go any further. Then you can start to use your hands, and we just want to get a little bit of height here. So I understand that everybody's back behaves differently. So just whatever um, feels good feels good for your body to do. We do not have to get the arms straight. And just because your back feels good one day doesn't mean that it's going to feel good the next, of course. But we just want to try and keep love each day, moving it. That's essentially is what's going to save us from that ongoing back pain in the end, isn't it? Inhale, lift. Keep the wings in. Exhale down. So using the floor, if you need to. Um. Down. Let's sit back into a rest pose. So bring the knees in, we'll keep the knees together, tuck the chin, and 
going to reach forward. And we'll do nice big deep breaths here. Keep the chin tucked. If it's uncomfortable for your shoulders, you can just the head. A few go. Slowly back up onto in, into upright, and we're going to knock over our plank right now. And then we're going to finish with a nice twisty back stretch. So I've got enough time for all that. Let's place the hands at the top of the mat. We're going to take one foot towards the back of the mat. So we're supported here. We're ready to rock and roll. Set those shoulders down. Draw the tummy muscles in nice and strong, and we just lift straight up into a plank, squeezing the glutes. We don't want this situation where we're arching the lower back and we don't want to be sinking towards the floor. We also don't want to be up in this pike position just yet. So bring your hips down so that we're in that one long line from your ankles right up to your shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Not only does it make it harder, it makes it safer. Good. And then we're going to try maybe just a few rocks back and forth. Feel free to drop onto your elbows. And we'll try just three more. Three, two. We're going to lift up into a pike after this one. One, good. Lift into a pike here. We want to widen the sit bones. Gently press the heels down into the mat. Of course, this can be done on your elbows too. Just feels and looks slightly different. Stretching the backs of the legs. Pulling those tummy muscles in. Gently pressing your chest through your arms so we get a bit of a stretch of that mid-back. All right, nice. Let's carry our bodies forward back into a plank. Nice, strong, supported plank. Just holding for 10, nine, eight. After this, all the hard work will be done. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice work, bring your knees in. Give your um, wrists a bit of a roll. So we're going to swivel back onto our backs now. We probably don't really need a circle, just put it to the side, we can do this without. We're gonna lift the left knee in, but it doesn't really matter which leg we use, arms out to the side. We're pulling this knee in as close to our shoulder as you can. You're gonna cross it over onto the floor. Lay it on the floor if you can, your knee on the floor. So if your shoulder pops up, who cares? We're going to reset it anyway. So then you're going to concentrate on looking over your left shoulder. And then with each exhale breath, you just want to sink lower and deeper into that twist, that spine twist, and enjoy this stretch out. It feels good. Nice one to do in the morning, but at any time of the day, of course. Much harder to breathe when you're twisted like this, but breathing as deeply as you are able to. And we're going to think about coming back up through center. So leave your feet on the floor and just kind of like swish your legs around. <laughs> contemporary dance style. So we come back through center, slide your left leg down the mat, bring your right knee in, and then cross it over nice and high up near your elbow, your knee, your right knee up near your left elbow, and then let's concentrate on the twist. Feels different side to side, so 
If this shoulder seems like nowhere near the floor, but on the other side you were pretty close, it doesn't matter. Just notice these things. Massive breaths. After you've settled into this stretch, it does kind of tend to release a little bit, make it easier. Like anything. You can settle into anything. We're nearly done, nearly at the end. All we have left to do is our roll downs. One more nice big deep breath. All right, so we're gonna swing those legs back through center and just take a second to recenter yourself. And we're going to make our way all the way up onto our feet. So coming up, if you can do it with no hands, of course, go for it otherwise standing up <laughs> anywhere you know how. Here we are, ready to finish the class. So just find your space on the mat, train tracks with those feet, lift through the arches of the feet, nice and tall, big breath in, exhale. We're gonna do three roll downs. So bend your knees, look at your knees, which way are they heading? We don't want them heading towards each other. They're going over the top of your second and third toes. Breath in at the floor, exhale, tummy to, to spine to support your lower back, straightening the knees as we get upright. Breath in. And exhale, rolling down. You're going to see if that exhale breath can last you all the way to the floor. Filling up your lungs at the bottom, rolling back up, remembering how you felt when we did these at the start of class. And here we are at the end. So hopefully you feel a little bit different. This is the last one. The head should feel heavy like a bowling ball. It remains heavy, chin stays down until we are all the way up and we're all done. Thanks, people, for joining me. I'll see you next time.